Hello, my darlings. How are you today? Today, I'm going to show you how to make this lovely, lovely little scarf or necklace, or maybe you want to use it around your wrist as a lovely little bracelet, but whatever you want to do with it, this is called knitting or weaving with a toilet paper tube. Yes, it is. But you can even wear it as a headband or this way or um, yeah. Shall we just get to it then? Thank you. So here's what you'll need to get started. We're going to need some tape, one toilet paper tube, and something long and thin to attach to make our loom. You could use pencils, which is what I used on this loom. Maybe dad or uncle or somebody has some long screws that you can attach. You only need five of whatever you're using. This is even the long stem that was cut off from a palm frond. So you can use that to find something outside. You can even use Q-tips if that's all that you have, but see all that cotton that's up on the top? When I tried doing with the, the Q-tips on here, I found that that cotton was really getting in my way. So if you do use Q-tips, if that's all that you have, just try to take off all of that cotton from only one end. You only have to worry about one end of it. The other end is not going to be in our way at all. But just take off as much of that cotton as you can. And that's what I did here. So it started getting in my way a little bit. Let's try using the palm fronds since I already did one with pencils. So I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to tape the end of my palm frond so that it is sticking up about an inch. Put a piece of tape on the top and we're also going to put a piece of tape on the bottom because if not, it can wiggle around and we don't really want it to move. So we're going to put two pieces of tape for each of these five. Okay, so now we have our loom made. We have five long sticks of some kind going all the way around. Now, if you have yarn, that's awesome. But what if you don't have any yarn? Well, you can also use a plastic bag. So let me show you how to do it with the plastic bag. We are going to make one long strip out of this plastic. Now this bag is a heavier plastic, which really works best. I tried doing it with a plastic bag from the grocery store <laughs> and it works. It works, but this plastic is really thin, so it was just a little bit difficult to work with. So this is a thicker plastic, it's heavier. It's not a grocery store bag. I am going to cut off right across, nice and even, the top. Get rid of that, that's garbage. I'm going to cut off the bottom of the bag. Just a little strip, just to cut it off and open it up. And now we have, it's 
just a round tube. <laughs> okay. We're going to just cut this. We're going to start on one end. And I'm going to make it about an inch thick. And I'm just going to cut and cut. so that this becomes one very long piece. Just cut and cut and cut and cut. This is about an inch, maybe an inch and a half wide. Just keep going around and around. Try to make it pretty even. Just keep going. This is a project in itself, but if you don't have any yarn, this is what you can do. And it will give you something fun to weave with. And just keep going around and around and around. And you see you have your plastic yarn now, or I guess you could call it plarn for plastic yarn, okay? So just keep going around and around until you cut up the whole thing the way I did with my plastic Publix bag. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put that aside and show you how to start with our loom. So we're going to take a piece of whatever yarn you're using. You can even use string if that's all that you have, or you can cut up your plastic bag. I'm going to take the end. I'm going to put the end through till it comes down the middle. Okay. And just temporarily, I'm going to put a piece of tape just to hold it in place and just until I get started. It doesn't have to stay there, but I just want to keep it out of my way and now I have the yarn is coming up from the top I am going to go over and under or in and out in this case one time around until I have two layers on there so let me show you I'm going in front of and then behind and then in front of, and then behind, in front of. Now I'm going behind this one, okay? In front of this one, so now it should be the opposite of what you did the first time around. In front of this, behind that one, in front, behind, and now I come to here where I already have one. Now is the time that we are going to start weaving. So now I'm holding on to this yarn. It is on top of the one that I had on there first. I'm going to take this bottom one, flip it over, and then keep going. So this is the yarn that I'm weaving with. I'm putting it on top of this one, taking the bottom one and bringing it over the top. Do it again. Bottom one, over the top. Can you see what I'm doing here? As I go around, I'm always taking the bottom one and bringing it over the top. Sometimes when I do that, oops, it came off. So I put that back, put this one back on top, and then bring it over. That's really all there is to it, guys. It's really that simple. I just keep taking the bottom one and bringing it over the top. That's 
all you do and it doesn't look like much in here now um, but as you keep going this is going to get longer and longer and it's going to start coming out the bottom of the tube so I'm just going to do a few more rows just to show you how this goes some more yarn out here. Whoops, I lost that one. Sometimes that happens and that's okay. Sometimes you just have to pull this string a little bit tighter. Now you can see we're starting to get somewhere in here. Can you see that? So what I did with this one is the same thing. If I pull gently, I don't know if you can see that in there. You can see how it's all starting to get longer and longer and it will be coming out at the bottom pretty soon. And that's exactly what happened with this one. So as you're weaving, it starts coming out from the bottom. And you have this really long, long, you can, you can go on for as long as you want to. And that's how you do it. Okay, so the way you would end this, when you get this to be as long as you want, the way you would end it is, I'm gonna take my yarn I'm gonna trim that off. Now, I'm going to take, pick any one. I'm going to take the one next to it. I'm gonna bring that over, oops, over to here, and then bring this one over, bottom over the top again. So now this one is free. Now I'm gonna take the next one and I'm gonna bring it over to the top of that same one I started with, this blue pencil. Bring the bottom one over to the top. My next one is over here. I'm gonna bring that over to the blue one, bottom over the top. And then the last, I'm gonna bring the white one over to the blue one, bottom over the top. Now I have my end piece over here. I'm going to take my end piece. I'm going to put the end piece through the loop. I'm gonna put it through the loop one more time and then bring it like that and I have a knot, okay? Trim that off and now pull it out and I have a nice tight little corner here. Get to the other end. You can now take these two pieces, you can tie them together if you want to, if you want to have it as a long loop, or you can make pom-poms. So you could do that and put pom-poms on the end. Well, I hope you enjoy making this. Let me know if you do. Have fun. Bye guys.